NASA claims that the Apollo 11 moonwalk video was filmed by a Westinghouse TV camera running at 10 frames per second, and to broadcast it to the world, the technicians at the manned spaceflight network needed to first convert it from slow scan to fast scan. In other words, they needed to convert from 10 frames per second to the conventional NTSC format of 30 frames per second. Now there are two ways to convert a 10 frame per second video to 30 frames per second. One way is that you simply triple the playback speed, and the other way is that you repeat each frame twice so that it all adds up to 30 frames. NASA says that they took the latter option. This was done, rather crudely, by filming the video feed off a screen with a TV camera running at 30 frames per second, meaning that the camera pointed at the screen would record each frame in the 10 frame per second playback three times. Now it's important to note that conventional frame rates of 24 frames per second, 25 frames per second, and 30 frames per second all look very smooth. That's because at least 24 FPS is sufficient to capture enough natural motion in a second. Anything less than that, and the motion would look jumpy. That's because the camera is not capturing enough natural motion per second. And in the case of a 10 frame per second video, we're missing 14 important frames of natural motion. So if we were to convert 10 frames per second to 30 frames per second, not only would the resulting video look very choppy, but the picture would also only update once every 3 frames. That being said, let's have a look at the 30 frame per second conversion of the Apollo 11 telecast. The first thing we notice is that the motion is quite smooth. It doesn't appear to be jumpy at all. All the frames appear to update rather quickly. Remember, if this was converted from a 10 frame per second video, then the image on screen would only change every 3 frames. So I took the liberty of extracting 90 sequential frames from this telecast, and viewed them frame by frame. Upon inspection, I found that the frames updated 4 out of every 5 frames, with the remainder being an overlay of the respective frames immediately before and after. Look at Neil Armstrong's leg. In just 9 sequential frames, the creases in his spacesuit smoothly emerge from the shadow. If this was derived from a 10 frame per second video, the image should have remained the same for 3 frames. The only way the frames of a 10 frame per second video could update so quickly would be to speed up the video to conventional frame rates. But doing so would make the motion look ridiculously too fast. Instead, the motion of this video is obviously very slow and floaty. This leads me to believe that the playback was not 10 frames per second, but 24 frames per second. I've already stated that I believe the Apollo telecasts were in fact slow motion videos of astronauts running around on wires, but I'm not even going to elaborate on what I believe the original frame rate was, because it's not relevant to the topic at hand, and amazingly is not even required to make my case. Nor am I going to try and speculate why NASA falsely claimed this video was filmed at 10 frames per second. Only they can know the exact reasons. But the fact is, their claim is indeed false. NASA says that the Apollo 11 astronauts had three motion capturing cameras available. One was a Westinghouse color television camera which took 30 frames per second. But it was only used aboard the CSM and not brought to the lunar surface. The second was the MORA data acquisition camera, or DAC for short which was a 16mm film camera. It took colour, ran at 1 frame per second, and was attached to the inside of the LEM window. The third was the Westinghouse black and white camera, capable of 10 frames per second, and the one said to have captured the Moonwalk telecast. And yet, we have clear evidence that the Apollo 11 EVA telecast was recorded at a much higher frame rate, meaning it would have to have been shot with a camera that reportedly was not in their possession when they were supposedly on the moon. That alone is definitive proof that the official NASA story is false. What more could you want?